Here's how to replace a leaking pressure relief valve on a camper. This has been dripping for quite some time now. Sometimes you can get it to stop dripping by tapping this in a little bit or opening it and closing it a few times. But this one is stuck. So I've drained the water below this level. I verified that because nothing's coming out of here. Next, you get a new replacement valve. Here's what they look like. The difference between a RV and a house hot water tank, typically. This thread right here is a half of an inch. Compared to a house, that's three quarters. I bought that one accidentally. You're gonna wrap this three to four wraps with some Teflon tape in the direction of the thread so that the tape tightens as you screw it in and doesn't loosen as you screw it in. So I wrapped the four turns with my blue monster tape. Next, I'm gonna use a pair of channel locks to take this out. And before I even bought anything, I did loosen it to make sure it wasn't stuck. Okay, so one more time, here's what you're looking at on the end here. It says it's 150 PSI right here, 210 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a half inch thread right here with a four inch probe sticking out the bottom. So looking at the back of the package here, there is only one option that fits the criteria. And that's the 10423 with the four inch probe, half inch pipe thread, 210 degree, 150 pound PSI rating. And so you know, if you look inside here, it's that pop-up valve in there that gets all corroded. And that's when they start to drip. So I finished tightening this up. This ended up slightly sideways. As long as if it did overheat and blow off, it blows down instead of up towards anybody's face, it'd be okay from the factory was even cocked a little more sideways. So that's all good. It came up to temperature now. There's no leaks, no drips. So I do have a video I'll put in the description of how to replace the pilot assembly. So if you're having problems with your hot water pressure relief valve on your camper or even your home hot water tank, that's the process to replace it. Make sure you get the correct valve for whatever tank you're doing.